DHSCTS asked, what is a ball band? Today we're going to answer that question. A ball band is quite simply the band of information around your ball of yarn. It can come in many forms. This here is for Nat Premium. Um, the information on it, it will have the brand name, the line, so this is premium, so you know it's a little bit of a nicer yarn for this brand. What it's made out of. How much, how many yards you're gonna find, or meters, are gonna be in uh, the average ball. You're going to find mm. your yarn weight. So this is a medium. Medium, number four, is a worsted weight yarn. That is probably one of the most commonly used yarns. Um, it's going to have how many stitches you will get for every 10 by 10 centimeter, or how many stitches and rows you're going to get for a 10 by 10 centimeter square, or 4 by 4 inch um, square using this size of knitting needle, so US 8. This is an approximate. People's, what they get varies because everybody's got a slightly different tension. So this is, if you're going to look, um, this is what you're going to attempt for. If your stitches, if you've got more stitches per inch, you're going to go up and use a bigger needle. Um, if you've got less stitches per inch, you're going to use a smaller needle. And that's the same thing with the crochet hook. So this one here, you know, 13 stitches with a USH or eight crochet hook. It's also got care instructions. So because this is acrylic, you can use a washing machine. You can dry it. Don't iron it. Okay. Um, it also has color. So this is a dark gray heather and it's got these numbers are very important. You want to make sure this is your dye lot number. So this is when it was manufactured. This is your dye lot number. You want to make sure that when you are, bought, are making a project that you are getting yarn from the same dye lot. Um, dye lots can be slightly different so they will look the same when you buy it. When you go to wash it you can end up with different colors, different shades in your, the same project. Um, so it's always best to err on the side of caution and get it an extra ball than you, one more ball than you think you're going to need, just in case. You can always use it up. There's lots of projects that use uh, leftover yarns. Okay, so that's one type of yarn ball. Some yarns also will have you can tell in when you look at the name. This is a, called a pooling yarn, and it will they will name their yarns based on an effect that you're supposed to get. So this is a pooling yarn. So after much trial and error, this is the effect that it was made to have. So the yarns pool to get a certain pattern automatically. Other yarn balls look like this. This is smaller. Um, this is an outfit out of Carstairs, Alberta. Um, they don't actually have on here the size of yarn. 